guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jesse. And I'm Nuri Jacqueline. And we are Walking with, with the Jays. Today we're going to be cooking for you. Um, we're going to be cooking uh, fish, uh, tilapia to be exact, fried cabbage, and ugali, which is a Tanzanian delicacy. Yeah, uh, so yep, we just decided to introduce you to my culture as we're cooking here and just show you how we do it. And also, we're going to be talking about uh, culture shock. Mm. Mainly our experiences. Jesse experienced when he came to Tanzania <laughs> with food and everything and people and everything. We marinated. Uh, this is the just all-purpose seasoning. One fish, we did it all-purpose seasoning. And the one that he's just putting, that is jerk seasoning. We will um, attach all the seasonings that we used. We'll show it on the comments, on the description. But yeah, so we're doing this right now, and then we're gonna put it in the... On the grill. On the grill. So now we'll just put it on the grill. And let it go till it's cooked. We're just gonna start out with the fried cabbage. I like to use bacon. I like to use the bacon fat. So we will be doing a couple pieces of bacon with this. Probably about four or five. It's really up to you. Our bacon is going pretty good here. Um, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about the culture shock that I had going to Tanzania. First of all, the... Uh, plane ride. I've never been on a, a plane ride that long before. I think it was like 20, 23 hours or something like that. 23 hours. 23 hours. Yeah. 23 hour plane ride. Uh, I went from Oklahoma City to Salt Lake and then Salt Lake to Amsterdam and then Amsterdam to Zanzibar and then I took like a quick 20 30 minute flight from Zanzibar to Dar es Salaam. That was the first of the shots. So was it scary or excited for you? I was excited. I mean, I I like I like to travel, so like it was it was really fun and plus seeing all these different places that I've never been to, you know, it's it was pretty cool. So let's talk about the food. The food was amazing. Like the street food, there's there's nothing that beats the street food. Yeah, it would be really hard to beat that. Um, we went to this place called Celebonges. We had chicken. We had chips my eye. Yeah, chips my eye. That was good. But the other place, my second favorite, was Coco Beach. We got the mishkaki mm -hmm. and the cassava, the fried cassava, and then uh, that drink. Oh my gosh, the drink we got! It was like a what was that? Like a ginger it and was apple a juice. Sugar cane drink. Sugar cane. Yeah. Okay, that's what it, it was. Wasn't it pineapple? Okay, it was sugar cane. Yeah. It was probably one of the best drinks I've ever had in my life. You talk about hospitality too. I mean, I'm not bragging, but my country has the nicest people. Like, when you land at the airport, it just makes you feel like you're at home, <laughs> although yeah. you do not know these people. Yeah. Like, that's how good we are and nice and kind. So, we traveled for uh, our send off, traditional mm -hmm. send off is like a traditional wedding that our parents, Tanzanian parents, do for their daughter before she gets married. Mm -hmm. So that's why he came. So talk about that. Tell the people about that in case there is anyone who wants to marry a Tanzanian. But yeah, the people, the people were amazing. The people were so nice. Like, everybody was so welcoming, mm -hmm. so, like, so very just really kind and, like, willing to help like because i was like i had it's not like i packed a whole lot but 
like even at the airport, like they didn't let me carry my own bags. Yeah. And I was like, Aww, I was you like, didn't tell me that. Yeah. But I was like, I can, I can carry this. And someone was like, nope, nope, mm -mm, no, no, no. And they yeah. just walked it. And I was like, okay, thank you. Yeah. I'm a proud Tanzanian. All right. So <laughs> now, <laughs> you say, yeah, yeah, yeah. So now we're doing Ugali. Um, this is what it, how can, how should we say this? It's like dumpling, not dumpling. Corn flour. Corn flour. Um, kind of like, I would say, the the Oops. only thing I could really compare this to would be like oatmeal. No. This is like not crushed, oatmeal. Like crushed oatmeal. No. Yeah. No. No. For, okay, so for Americans, we don't have anything like this. So the only thing I can compare this to is is oatmeal okay if you didn't put a lot of water in your grits mm -hmm. it would be like grits like if you just if you just did like a whole bunch of grits and a little bit of water that's how it would be <laughs> so this is how we do our gali or oh, this is how i was taught to do it you put water and then a little bit of the flour in there and just allow it to get hot with the water until you so. see it like bubbly. And then we take this and then we just cook it. You'll see. Shock, culture shock. I have never eaten cabbage this way with bacon on it and all sorts of things. Ooh, I've never. So this is also my culture shock right here. So this is just fried cabbage. Everybody, I'm sure most everybody has had it. Mm -hmm. So the other culture shock that I had was the markets. When we went to the markets. Oh, yeah? Did we go to the market together? Yes, it was me, you, your dad. Oh, oh, you're talking about the clothes markets? The sh yeah, the shop. Okay, yeah. yeah, the shops, okay. When you said market, I was like, we've never gone to the market together. I thought yeah. it was like... No, we didn't go to the food market. I carry a call, but we passed by the ferry. Remember? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. And your dad also gave me fish, the like my first my first day there. Yep. yep. And that's why we're cooking. Well, fish has become his one of his favorite things. He still doesn't eat fish head. No. Until today, I'm working. I probably on making will not. Eat fish. Head. I probably will not. Growing up, they told us if you eat fish head, you become smart. <laughs> Brains. Um, and so growing up, I've been eating like <laughs> I was eating a lot of fish thinking that I'll be smart and clever. <laughs> until one day I just You started, are smart. I mean I know I am, but one day I just thought to myself, so I was like, hold on. Since I started eating this fish head, I should have invented something by now. <laughs> <laughs> That's when I knew they lied to us. But, I mean, it's okay. So, I, I don't know if that's an American thing. Probably not. But fish. And most of our fish we eat with bones. Tilapia, bones. It's very rare. Yeah. Unless it's salmon. It's very rare that you go to Tanzania and find someone eating fish that is, it doesn't have the bones. Like, mm. you gotta, you know. And I made him, I made him learn the first time we, oh, babe, the first time we met, mm -hmm. he came to my place and I prepared fish and I prepared fish. He was still laughing, of course. And then I was eating the head and he looked at me. His face was like, like you could tell he was trying to be nice, but he was just like, show sure, like. He asked, he, he asked though, remember when you were like, are you eating that head? And I was like, yeah. Yeah, because all I saw was like this jelly looking thing. And I was like, mm, I'm good. I'm good on that. <laughs> oh, Lord. Some of the restaurants and stuff, like yeah. the one thing that we don't do a lot here in America. Well, they don't have, I'll just say they don't have people going around doing this, but so, like, at a restaurant, mm -hmm. they'll have a pitcher of, like, warm water and a ba little basin, and they will, like, pour, you'll use your, 
like you, it's basically you washing your hand. Yeah. And so you'll like just wash your hand, the hand that you're going to eat with, which is your, your right hand, even though I'm a lefty. But you always just use your right hand to eat. And they didn't force you to read, eat with the right hand, though, right? No, they didn't force me, but I, I definitely uh, picked up on it really quick that, like, I, I need to start eating with, with my right hand. So you ate with your right hand? <laughs> uh, sometimes. Yeah. I didn't know that. So this is like 15 minutes on the grill. I think I'm pretty sure both sides are done. But with fish, I just want to make sure, so I'll leave it. I'll leave it for about three or four more minutes with the lid closed. Just let it kind of go and cook and do its thing. Your onions start looking like this when they start looking beautiful. Ooh. You want to go ahead and add in your your cabbage. And as he's doing that, my ugali thing is ready. He was also bubbling. I had to put it on the side because it's, ooh, I don't like yeah, it when it does it. that. So I'm just going to add a little bit as well Ooh. of the flour. A little bit? <laughs> yeah, that's a little bit. Because it's still soft. I yeah. can guarantee you. Yeah. You don't want to put a lot because just in case you, you want your ugali soft. Mm -hmm. um, so... Yeah. You do that. And now put it back. Oh, is that the grease from the That's the bacon grease. So you want to save a little bit of it so you can add it because I notice it's a little it's a little dry. This is more you're not it's called fried cabbage, but it's only fried because it's cooking in bacon grease, but it's it's actually steaming it more than anything. I mean, yeah, you'll have some crispy pieces, but mm -hmm. it's not going to be like you're deep deep frying something. But it's it's really good. And baby is going to add the bacon back in. The magic, the magic is happening. Yay! So this is the fried cabbage. It's got everything. It's got the bacon in there. It's uh it's looking pretty pretty good. Yeah. And this is the ugali. It's done, but I just left it in the pot and I put my uh the heat just very low. You can transfer it to the plate if you want. And yeah, that's it. We'll show you the end result of our quick meal ugali fried cabbage and grilled tilapia here in a little mm -hmm. bit.